the cast and producers of FX's acclaimed Marvel Comics series Legion took over San Diego Comic-Con's Hall H Sunday afternoon for one of the event's last major panels, and revealed that when it comes to the show's future, they know. Well, almost nothing. Legion, created by Noah Hawley and starring the Marvel mutant with the same codename, David Haller, Dan Stevens, has already been renewed for a third season, expected to arrive sometime next year. That doesn't mean anyone involved is able to tell anyone about season 3, though. Writer and producer Nathaniel Halpern issued a flat no when asked if he could reveal anything about the next year of the show, and creator Noah Hawley wasn't even in attendance. When asked for his own perspective on where the show goes next, here's how Stevens, who admitted to walking around confused during portions of making the series, put it, I know that Lenny is obviously gonna have a part to play in it, he said. We're off together in some form. Sid's a bit mad. But I don't know very much at this stage. Last season left nearly everyone on the series in some kind of precarious new position thanks to an 11th hour role reversal that saw David, after an intervention by his friends and colleagues, embrace his potential as a possible villain in his own story. Instead of trying for redemption yet again, he fled with Lenny, Aubrey Plaza, and now the two of them are off doing God knows what as David contemplates his own power, which the show has fully established is strong enough to allow him to dominate the world. If you know the comics at all, you know there's the potential for this guy you have sympathy for to turn into one of the greatest villains in the universe, Steven said. Then there's the issue of the show's other potential villain, Farouk Navid Nigaban, who seemed like the big bad for much of the show's first two seasons, even if when we didn't know his name. Farouk spends much of season 2 arguing with David that good and evil simply don't exist for people like them, and that they should have free reign to do with their power as they see fit. Now, he's been placed in a position to save the world by defeating David, but how pure will his motives ever really be? I have never played a villain in my life, Nigabon said. I think every villain looks at himself as a hero, beyond that, though, we didn't hear much about what's in store for our characters next, and in a way that's rather fitting for a series like Legion. It's a show you have to experience in whatever way it chooses to present itself to you, whether that's in straightforward expository monologues, unexplained symbolism, or dance battles. The underlying theme of the panel seemed to be that almost no one, even the show's writers and producers, has a full understanding of what's happening. When you get the script and you read it, you have to talk to the cast and crew and ask, do you know what this is about, executive producer John Cameron said. The cast often agree, even as they had to embody their characters in every scene. When asked if any particular moment stood out as puzzling, Nigaban recalled the confrontation between David and Farouk at a small fortune teller's booth in the desert, for me it was the desert scene, sitting at the fortune teller's booth. I'm still confused, he said, to some extent, it's possible that everyone but Holly himself is at least a little puzzled by Legion, but that's part of the fun. Like 2001, A Space Odyssey are the works of David Lynch, you take your own meaning from it, and then you find something new to build on each time you watch it. Lucky for us, we get at least one more year to puzzle over. Legion returns to FX in 2019. Click here for Sci-Fi WIRE's full coverage of SDCC 2018, including up-to-the-minute news, exclusive interviews, and videos.